They won't make up what we will lose from the restrictions. Um, I haven't, I've scanned them on my telephone and I found with most of the things he's announced you need to wait for the detail. So let's see what the detail is. Um, but I think that the 10 p.m. curfew is considerably more damaging to the business than he, well not, I don't think he was pro it, but than the government realised. The single big mistake they've made is this 10 p.m. curfew. And it's not just because I have late night businesses but I actually think it goes against everything they're trying to achieve. This restaurant we're in now is has been trading at about 50% of last year. Um, we don't open during the daytime at the moment because the offices aren't back but we are lucky enough to have a cafe just down the road so we pick up the daytime business there but neither the cafe down the road or here has been open overnight because there's no nighttime economy. Um, however a week or two weeks ago, no two weeks ago we experimented with opening on Thursday, Friday and Saturday night until 3, p 3 a.m. here. And I was surprised by how many people came in. And um, I calculated that based on last week and this limited late night opening, uh, as a result of these measures, we're going to lose at least 25% of our trade from last week, this week. If you're 50% down already and then another 25% down, <laughs> it's extremely critical. Um, but that's only a mathematical calculation. What worries me, and I think many other people in the industry, is the general message that people could pick up that somehow restaurants aren't safe or they're a problem. Uh, and I think it's been well documented and reported recently that um, only 5% of cases have been attributed to restaurants. And we've had millions of people visiting restaurants over the last uh, few months. Um, and so. Uh, you know, I really can't understand why the government are using this 10 p.m. thing as a, 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 as a weapon against COVID. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, the reason that it, you can't just do a mathematical calculation is that if it puts people off coming to restaurants throughout the day, that's obviously an effect. But also what they obviously didn't appreciate is that just cutting an hour from your trading time, if you shut, normally shut at 11, um, actually interferes with the, any chance of getting a second service in the evening and so it severely restricts what business you can do in the evening. There's a huge time bomb that hasn't been talked about in the last few days which is the rent debts that all restaurant businesses have built up. You know, Many restaurants haven't paid rent for three quarters or won't have paid rent for three quarters um, and so you know some VAT help. I mean it's appreciated because they've done a lot the government to support people but um, you know, reducing the VAT for an extra two or three months is not going to deal with that rent time bomb that's going to hit sometime in December. Um, being able to trade, and, and remember, we, we, we're one of the safest places you can go in a restaurant, uh, much safer than um, many homes, I would suggest, because of the regimes we have and the cleaning we have. Um, so not being a, able to trade means that you can't deal with the rent arrears with you know and small bits from the government aren't going to solve that problem